How you doing, folks? Welcome inside the KFC Yum Center, where the Ohio Bobcats stood toe to toe with the seventh-ranked team in the nation for all 40 minutes of this one before falling 59 to 54. I'm Blake Brody, joined alongside Matt Archibald. Matt, it was first half. Ohio kind of had to weather the storm. It was 20,000 plus packed into the stadium. The crowd was going wild. Ohio kind of had to weather the early storm. They did. They only trailed by five going into halftime. Second half, they traded baskets for a while before Louisville made a dangerous run, went up 41-32 with nine minutes. That point in the game where it could have gone either way. Yeah, a middle part of the second half, they go on an 11-2 run, and it's sparked by a huge three-pointer by the Cardinals. Then Ohio turns it right over on the next basket. That eventually leads to a two uh, on the inbound play. Point in the game where it looks like Ohio is either going to get blown out of the water or they're going to have to make something happen to come back. Gross calls a timeout, and coming out of the huddle, they had that look in their eyes. Yeah, and even off it, it was Gross called that timeout. He told his team, we got to stay together. They were down by nine. It was a pivotal point in the game. Then all of a sudden, Ohio responded with a 17-2 run, and a lot of different players contributed during that run. Yeah, off it with a few baskets in there. Keeley gets a steal and a putback. Uh, you know, everyone spread the floor. T.J. Hall with a one huge three, had another huge three later in the game. So, you know, we mentioned last game a, very, uh, a variety of scores for this Bobcats mm -hmm. team. Again, it shows its face. You know, four or five different players scoring in that 17-2 run to put Ohio back ahead with four minutes to go in the ball game. Right now, it looks like it could be anyone's game. Yeah, all of a sudden, it's 49-43. to Ohio, DJ Cooper had a nice three, also an and one, where he looked like he was going to take this game over for the Cats. So all of a sudden, the Cats are up by six, but then you had to expect Louisville would make a run, and they did. Yeah, Kyle Kirk, they left him open in the first half, and he didn't make his shots. He made two down the, the stretch here to really – bring this uh, packed house to right. life. Cardinals spark a comeback. Uh, he tied the game up single-handedly, 49-49. And then the play of the game, we're going to talk about it for a while. Yeah, all of a sudden, then the game is really teetering on the edge. It was anybody's game at that point. In the final minutes of the game, a pivotal play. Walter Offit had four fouls. He got called for a blocking foul call when it looked clearly like Siva charged. Yeah, we'll, we'll show it to you once, twice, maybe seven times here. Siva gets the lane. Off it is in the way. Looks like he takes a clean charge. Stripes calls it uh, charging on off it. He fouls out, and Siva goes to the line. Connects on both free throws, and all of a sudden Louisville had a clear edge in this one. Yeah, they're up three points at that time. 20 seconds to go in the ball game. Ohio pretty much forced to make a three. Uh, they come down, fire up one. TJ Hall misses. Rebound, Baltic gives it back to Cooper. He comes up short and they send the Cardinals to the line to pretty much just ice away the ball game. Yeah. Well, Ohio, they, they didn't come into this one looking for moral victories. There was, it was a disappointed team after the game. It was a disappointed Coach Gross because he knew his team had a chance to win this one. But at the end of the day, the Cats fall, but it was a valiant effort. Play with them for 40 minutes. It was a good game from Ohio. A lot they can take from this one. Format Archibald, I'm Blake Brody saying so long. We'll see you next time.